What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, like, share, subscribe, bell button, swoosh, fire. Um, <laughs> uh, I would love it if you guys would set yourself up so you can get notifications about these videos, trying to share as much good information as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, so that would be awesome if you guys could do that for me. So anyways, today's video is going to be about um, setting up your macros and calories for a beginner. So I'm just going to try and break it down, keep it really simple. You know, when I do this for my clients, um, starts off a little bit more scientific, more into the nitty gritty, you know, what's their weight, height, gender, things like that. Um, but then uh, from the starting point, it's all intuitive from there. I've been doing this for so long that um, I don't really have to be like calculating formulas every single time. Um, I've learned how the body works and how people's bodies works. The longer I work with them, the more I know like they're going to react to fats this way, they're going to react to carbs this way, you know, things like that. So the changes are more intuitive, but this is just a simple basic way that you would be able to calculate your um, calories and macros so that you can kind of just get a good place to kind of start at. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up an example of just let's, let's just say, um, okay, first of all, actually, we're not going to start with an example. What we're going to start with is um, kind of the calorie spreads or so basically what you're going to do here um, is that there's going to be three examples here. Um, you're going to be somebody who's trying to lose fat, um, somebody who's trying to maintain their weight, and somebody who's trying to gain weight at a you know decent-ish pace. Um, so the way that we're going to break this down is there's three groups. If you're a female, you're going to stick to the lower end of the group. Um, starting off, you never know, you may have really high metabolism. If you're uh, a male, you're going to start towards the higher end of the group. So what I would suggest is, so for somebody who's planning on losing weight, 10 to 12 times your body weight is what you're going to want to go for, for your calories. And then we're going to go 14 to 16 is if you're going to be trying to maintain your body weight. And then 18 to 20 times your body weight is for if you want to gain, obviously, even if you're a male or female, uh, so females, you're going to be more gaining towards the 16, um, men, um, the 20 to 18, but I would say start at the 18, um, see what your weight does. So with all of these, these are just kind of a starting point. I would suggest tracking your weight week to week. If you're say eating 12 times your body weight in calories, and then you're not, you know, losing weight. Uh, then you need to go lower in your calories. And so you need a new, you know, take away fats, take away carbs. Um, usually I would not suggest taking away protein. You want to keep protein um, pretty much the same throughout this entire process, um, just to protect the muscle tissue, give you enough to build. Um, so let's, let's jump into this. Let's jump into the nitty gritty. Um, so we're going to start off with our example. Let's just say we have a 180 pound person. We're going to assume that this is a male. So male. Okay. And let's say that this person wants to lose weight, but we want to try and eat as much as possible while still losing weight. So the way that we're going to do that, start at the high end of losing weight times that by 12. This is the part of the video where I'm going to cut out because I'm gonna actually have to do math here. Actually, just kidding, I think this is simple enough. So like, so take 180 times 10, so you got, what, 1800, then 360, 1800, so should be 2160, roughly, I think. Um, anyways, we're gonna assume that I did the math right. Um, I haven't been, in high school math class for a minute. So don't judge me. I'm used to using a calculator. Technology has made me weak. <laughs> so 
So anyways, so this is the rough start of where we want this person's calories to be at to give them kind of a start of where to go, what to do, where to go to start losing weight. Okay, so now what we want to do, so we, now we're going to start breaking it into macros. And this is the way that I'm going to suggest breaking in macros. I'm not going to tell you a percentage um, for everything and like, oh, do the, the what is it, the 20% fat, 40% carbs, 40% protein. No. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by calculating out the protein first. And this is probably the simplest one. Protein, one gram per pound of body weight. So we are going to have 180 grams of protein. Now, in protein, there are four calories. So times that by four, so you get 400, and then 80, so 80, 160, 320. So that's gonna be 720 kilocals. So, 720 of your total calories for the day, that is gonna be from protein. Um, okay, so from this point, we wanna figure out um, total, total calories. So the next one that I would say is we're gonna go for fat. So don't be surprised if this video cuts out because I may need to pull up a calculator. Um, but what we want fat to be at, um, I would say the starting point and pretty much where you want to keep it for most of the time. There's a few rare cases for maybe like a bodybuilding purposes where you drop below this number, but I'd say keep it between 20 to 15%, but more towards 20% of your total calories coming from fat. This will make sure that you have enough body, or sorry, enough dietary fat to supply um, any hormone needs, digestive needs, um, brain function needs, things along those lines. So you don't wanna just go low fat, no fat. Um, so what we want is 20%. So times by 0.2 and we're gonna cut out so that I can pull this up. Okay guys, we are back. I used the calculator. I double checked that number too. So that was correct. So I get an A plus and a gold star. Awesome. Okay, so anyways, so 20% of the total calories that we want to eat for the day, um, that's going to come to 432 32 calories. So now what we got to do is we got to reverse engineer this to figure out how many grams. So in fat, there are nine calories per gram. So we know that we have 432. So we need to divide that by nine. And that will give us a rough estimation of where our calories should be at. So checking the calculator, because I am a noob when it comes to doing math in my head now, comes out to 48 grams of fat. So 48 grams of fat. Okay, so now what we've gotta do is we've gotta take the 432 and the 720 minus from that, and then the rest are gonna be our carbohydrates. So carbs, that's a really retarded C, um, but the video must go on. Okay, so C. So first we gotta figure out how many calories. So let's see, multiply that by nine equals 432 plus our 720 and then mm equals 100, so minus 2160 comes out to 1,008 calories for carbohydrates. So same thing, four grams or four calories per gram of carbohydrate. So we need to divide that by four equals. Two, geez, that's retarded. Wow, this is really lame. 252, I'm sorry, that's a two, a five, and a two. It's different trying to write to the side. So basically, end of the day, I'm gonna flip this around so I can make it pretty for you. Okay, so end of the day, what we want, 
2160 on calories, protein, fat, carb. So our protein is going to be 180 grams of protein for the day. Then we want 48 grams of carbs, then 252 grams of protein. So there you go. Yeah. All pretty. So that's what you would want for a total day. So basically the way that you would apply this is that you would, you know, reverse engineer it for whatever your body weight is. If you're a female, I'd say go for the 10. Um, if you're a male, start at the 12, then make, maybe work your way down. Something else to factor in is once you lose 10 pounds on this, do the equation again, because what you started at isn't what you need to eat. You need to continually do this as your body weight changes. Um, loosely. I mean, if you want to be intuitive, it's just like once your weight stalls out, you need to eat less calories. So maybe drop your calories by 200, 300, and then recalculate out all the values and then continue forward from there. And remember, protein, body weight, that many grams, about 20 to 15% of your calories from fat, and then fill in the rest with carbohydrates. So as you go farther and farther, fats and carbohydrates are going to start getting lower and lower but your protein should be staying roughly the same or at least the same as your body weight the entire time so you might end up eating less protein um but honestly what i would recommend is just like a slight variation of that so this guy starts at 180 grams of protein just keep it at 180 grams even as you're dropping um your calories because you want to always make sure that you're eating more than enough protein in order to stimulate protein synthesis um, so that you're not burning through muscle in an attempt to lose fat so always make sure that you're eating enough protein um, fats are really for the hormones honestly and carbohydrates are for energy and for just feeling not like a dick all the time so anyways guys that's how i would break down and teach you about macros and then of course these ones are for you know if you want to maintain you're going to be somewhere around this ballpark if you notice that you start gaining weight lower your calories if you start losing weight you need to up your calories a bit more um so that would mean just you know add in like 200 calories you know factor in how much more fat how much more carbs that is you'd still be eating roughly the same protein um and then here um i would say you know just same thing keep protein the same and then you just get more fats and more carbohydrates. So this is a really good way to kind of break it down. I would definitely say the longer that you do this and the more you track weight, the more you're going to feel intuitively. Cause like there's some of you out there that if you eat like a shit ton of carbohydrates, you're just going to feel like crap all day. Then there's other of you that if you eat a ton of fat, you're going to feel pretty crappy and lethargic all day. So it's mainly about learning your body and learning what changes work. Um, yeah. So anyways, I hope this helps you guys. If you want personalized coaching, um, that includes the meal plan, um, breaks down this nutrition, breaks down your macros, breaks down when to eat, how to eat, why we're eating that way, um, your cardio that you should be doing, and um, a specifically tailored workout program for your goals and your body type. Hit me up. Um, but other than that, hope you have a good one, guys. Peace out. Bye. Like, share, subscribe. Bell button. Peace out.